Well, don't get much prettier than that. What a beautiful December morning. We're on our way to Loran Tower. Kind of see you there to see more maps. Should I go catch some, uh, some snapper for dinner? What a beautiful morning, though. So Joe just got a mountain and I got a mangrove. We're trying to see. Okay, mangrove has to be 12. Mutton we know has to be 18. And it's just short. Dang it. We are at uh, Loran Reef. We just got here five minutes ago. What is it? Oh, so we literally just dropped. We moved. We're now at Fern Street. I'm just dropping my stuff now. Joe had already dropped. I already got a mutton, but it's a blue runner. So we'll see what happens here. 
Joe's hooked up on something. Hopefully it's the keeper. Or the right But he thinks it's a blue runner, so we'll see. You got what? Scup? That's a keeper, right? Show the camera. People want to see. That's a scup. Uh, so, I was, uh, you know, for not trying to be vulgar, using the facilities, which is a five gallon bucket. Joe was holding my line, and I got a nice scup. That I can't get under his mouth. There's pliers right there. And don't drop them over the water. What happens? Realities of boating, people. Sometimes you gotta pee. What you got, baby? Back it up. Trying to get away. Oh, that's a shark. Shock a doodle doo. So we are back at the house, people. Joe is now filleting the um, hind grouper, or what did you say it was, rock grouper? Yeah. Yep. Um, there was no minimum size, so we caught two. Overall, we caught two of those, hind slash rock grouper, three vermilion, two scup, and this is a pretty big scup for, you know, for Florida. Um, but we're from New England. Joe grew up fishing in New England with his dad, and they used to catch us all the time. So we're gonna probably have. I'm looking at the fish. Probably gonna have dinner with his dad with the scup for you know old time's sake um, tomorrow. So right now we're just filleting up some fish. We're gonna put it in a. Um, salt water bath so it's just tap water with some iodized salt um, until we're ready to either freeze it or cook it and that's what we're gonna do all right so the not so fun part of you know cleaning up the boat when we get off the water I'd like to run some desalting stuff through the uh, through the mercury and uh, you know, we're not sponsored by them or anything like that, but we use uh, Starbright Salt Off Concentrate. Kind of run through this little uh, gadget here. You turn it on. It starts running through the uh, through the motor. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see water and mixture. And then we just turn on the mixture. You can kind of see it kind of running through there. And eventually, come out the uh, the pizza one of these times, right? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. There we go. That way, you start running it through there, and uh, you get all the salt and deposits out of the motor. And that's the important thing to uh, keep your motor fresh. So, again, uh, we use uh, the salt right. We run the mixture. Right there. You see it? Kind of runs through the bottom. Kicks out the top. Call it a day.